Let's delve into a profound and weighty topic that tugs at the very fabric of our souls, the challenges faced by women across the globe. It resembles an unyielding storm of victimization, neglect, and dismissal, a global crisis echoing the magnitude of a heart-wrenching pandemic. At the core of these challenges lies gender inequality, a pervasive issue that contributes to a multitude of problems disproportionately affecting women and girls. From enduring domestic and sexual violence to grappling with lower pay, facing barriers to education, and encountering inadequate health care, the repercussions are far-reaching and demand our collective attention. And that's the heartfelt mission of Friends Together, a collective of dedicated individuals pouring their passion into the cause. At the heart of Friends Together, when we started the organization, my dream was to leave something behind, something that was going to change the quality of life for women and children in the United States. And so our first programs were basically camps that we had four times a year where we brought families, whatever someone's family was, infected and affected by HIV, to camp to get a plan to live instead of a plan to die. Initially, we expected most of our families to be white gay men, but that wasn't true at all. The vast majority of our families were African-American grandmothers and aunties raising their grandchildren because their parents had already succumbed with HIV and these older, much, much older women were raising this other generation of children, many of them infected with HIV, but their siblings who were not. So these blended families. And what we realized was the only way to break that circle of infection and poverty was empowerment. And how do I change that around? And so our whole focus was, how do we make it so you get plans to live? How do we teach you how to access not only the systems that can help you, but the knowledge and the education you need? So when we went to Tanzania the very first time, our original goal was to go climb Kilimanjaro, raise money for our programs here, and leave some medical supplies and come home. But what we recognized almost immediately was no one's making a difference in these children and these women's lives. And the fact that they didn't need a pity party, they didn't need even handouts, they needed education to be able to move forward and break that cycle. When we first started going to Tanzania, the infection rate in Tanzania, literally in the area we work in, 50% of the children being born or being born HIV positive. Think about that. One out of every two children was being born positive in this area. And why? Well, a lot of it was just basic education. People not having the knowledge of how HIV is even transmitted, mother to child. So we started on that very basic fundamental this part, but it grew, and as it grew, we recognized, wow, we have an entire generation of children now alive who have no parents, many of them born positive, some of them not, but an entire missing generation of people because the death rate was so high with HIV. Teaching them to read and write in English was the least of the worry. They couldn't read and write in Swahili much less in English, but they were grown, so they needed adult skills. Or they were gonna have to sell their body. They were gonna have to continue that cycle because they had to eat. And so what we did is we began to tie that to exactly what we were doing in the United States. Imagine opening doors to quality education, equipping women with skills to chase their dreams. Economic empowerment means fair work opportunities deserving pay and a chance to run their own show. 
Healthcare goes beyond a checkbox, ensuring women access every needed service. Support networks thrive, women lifting each other up through mentorship and friendship. Tech ensures women stay savvy, no left behind in this digital age. Family planning is a key, giving women the tools to plan their families. And safety is non-negotiable. Women should feel secure, no ifs, ands, or buts. Our collective work is dedicated to eradicating gender-based violence and empowering women globally. Together, we foster connections and, and collaboratively solve the puzzle, aiding women in finding their voices. Women throughout history fought battles, challenged norms, and made waves. Their legacy of resilience, leadership, and determination echoes through time, inspiring us today. The empowerment of women is a critical and multifaceted issue that touches upon various dimensions encompassing social, economic, political, or cultural aspects. In addressing these challenges, we're not just empowering women, we're shaping a better future for all. So let's stand together, acknowledging the complexities and working towards a world where every woman, regardless of background, can thrive and contribute to a greater good. I made a generational promise. And that promise was to do whatever I could do to impact the women of the area to be able to break that cycle.